Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the perfect ultimate summer work capsule wardrobe. So something that will be totally or mostly appropriate if you have some kind of a dress code for the work environment. Also, if you want to feel more sophisticated, more classy this summer, yet work appropriate, yet kind of still incorporate your personal style and touch into your work outfits. And one of the things that I feel like a lot of people are struggling with, and this is what I hear from my clients and also from a lot of acquaintances of mine and from a lot of people or audience, is that the worst thing about work outfits and the office dress code is that you feel absolutely statement less and also you feel kind of blur and gray because of all the outfits and looks and they all kind of feel the same and then you can always scale it back in terms of colors textures maybe some specific silhouettes that don't work for you or you don't feel comfortable with or do not work with your office environment so it's always up to you this is basically like a vaguely casual approach to an office dress code and if your office dress code is stricter always pair it back always switch colors for darker ones and deeper ones always take something out that doesn't work for you so without further ado let's get into this So the first thing I'm going to show you are accessories. So the things that we need to remember in terms of creating our perfect office wardrobe, office slash work wardrobe, something that's more sophisticated, etc., is in order for that not to be too dull and uninteresting and uninspiring, you need to work with shapes, you need to work with textures, and you need to work with colors and lengths and silhouettes. This is the only way that you could incorporate your personality into your looks without violating your office strict dress code. So the first thing that we need to address are accessories. This is the main thing that is going to give us more personality to our outfits because obviously these accessories do not necessarily need to fit into your work slash office dress code specifically bags they do not necessarily need to for shoes some office policies cancel and mm, do not allow open toe shoes some do so it's always up to you switch them up take them away there's enough shoes as they are in here so obviously always make it work for you but bags can be any kind of a bag that you want and bags bring personality some texture and color to a look and then we have a couple of belts but in terms of bags what you can see definitely over here is the first thing that we needed to remember and I personally needed to remember when I created this capsule, these bags need to be practical. They need to actually fit the things that you carry with you to your office, maybe a laptop, a notebook, whatever. So these are medium sized and you can always obviously switch up to something that's bigger if need be. Then we have shoes and we have different styles of shoes. We have something that's very feminine. We have something that's more sophisticated and classy like loafers, something that's casual and relaxed like a ballet flat, something that's feminine like a Kate white close toe shoe, like a kitten heel variation of a summer stiletto, but a kitten heel version. And then we have these open toe shoes that definitely would not work for everyone, but for some people they will. And if this did not work, work for you just because the open toe is there. You can always switch them up for a closed toe kind of a mule or take them away all together. And then we have two simple kind of basic belts but with a beautiful hardware detail to them. And in terms of bags, what you can definitely see and I feel like stands out first of all is their texture and color. All of them are different colors and all of them are different textures. Something is woven, something is woven but the kind of the woven texture is a more minuscule one and then we have something that's like a smooth leather something that's suede so this is going to bring some texture to a look and then we have different silhouettes for these bags so there's hobos there's moon bag style hobos there's tote bags there's a smaller tote bag then there's like a baguette style woven bottega bag and then colors obviously all of these are different colors so something black something that's off-white slash 
milky, deep green, something that's bright red. Obviously, if that doesn't work for you, if that's too bright of a color for you, always switch it up. And then a deep brown. So the thing that we need to remember in terms of office dress code, it can feel dull because we stick to the, like the negative stereotype of what an office dress code looks like. And I feel like that stereotype needs to be updated and that look needs to be updated in the media because all we see is like tight, very ill-fitting gray pants suits and some weird bags and some 2000 style stilettos and everything's changed nowadays so all of these things are changed and you'll see in a minute how everything's totally changed in terms of office appropriate dress code but something that's more current and modern so these are the things that are going to bring some spice to our looks then we go to bottoms and in terms of bottoms what's also really important is that all of the aesthetic and all of the like silhouettes are kind of different so we have i'd say five pants but all of these pants have different silhouettes so some of these are straight pants slim pants some of these are palazzo pants and this is the way to bring some like variety to your looks then we have some shorts and i say these are work appropriate shorts because these are bermuda shorts and these look like a skirt basically when you're wearing them in motion we have a couple of colors of these and then we have five skirts five one two three four five skirts and for skirts there's three that are absolutely literally like the same silhouette but different length and then we have two that are totally different then one is like a very 50s full on a line skirt and one of them is a silky deep navy skirt and all of these things basically all of these bottoms are kind of classic are kind of on the basic side but because of all the silhouettes and shapes are different we will get different outfits different feeling outfits at least and also in terms of colors and textures and materials the materials are kind of different so there's a leather kind of a skirt then there's some silk skirt like at least the satiny skirt then there's wool there's linen there's cotton so this is also one of the ways to kind of create some difference to your outfits and also color so you can obviously unless it's stated specifically in your office dress code sheet that you need to wear like a white top and then a black bottom if that's the case obviously we need to work with what we have but if that's not the case and the thing that you have outlined there it needs to look professional and office appropriate this is absolutely appropriate and you do not have to strict to gray or black there's a lot of varieties of basic colors that would create a variety to your looks off-white milky white deep brown chocolatey brown caramel light kind of pale blue deep burgundy deep navy black obviously light gray graffiti gray graffiti yeah graffiti 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 is that the color name yeah I think that's the name of the color, the graffiti. The moment when you say a word, like repeat the word multiple times, it stops making sense in your head. This is what's happened to me, I feel like. But anyways, so this is the way we create difference in our outfits and still stick to our office dress code. Then we have tops and for tops, we have some t-shirts and longer sleeve t-shirts but i'm usually well you'll see in a minute when i'm showing you the outfits you'll see that i'm pairing these usually not on their own but with a kind of a an outer layer if you do say so myself like like a shirt unbuttoned shirt maybe a cardigan so something that is going to cover your elbows most of the time and the reason behind that is that for most office dress code policies your shoulders and your elbows need to be covered it's for some office dress codes only shoulders so in that case we have a couple of options then we have different silhouettes for shirts we have blouses we have tops and all of these look formal but because we have different materials so we have something satiny we have something silky something that's a crepe kind of a like a light blue blouse then we have some stripes so a print could be definitely incorporated over here but i'm very light on prints because not a lot of people are actually into prints and a lot of office dress codes actually prefer for you not to wear a print so that's the reasoning behind that then we have a waistcoat that 
would serve as a top but obviously always can be layered then we have one cardigan just in case it gets a bit chilly then we have different silhouettes of tops etc etc then for dresses i selected just three dresses to give an example but i'm not usually a dress kind of a person for an office dress code because it looks too simple most of the time and it doesn't add much to an over like overall outfit so we stick with three dresses one of them is like a shirt dress in a deep chocolatey brown then we have one that's a shorter sleeved shirt dress in a like blue like a classic blue and this one's also cotton like a cotton poplin shirt material and then we have one with a longer sleeve for more formal events maybe something that's happening at work like some whatever things parties you're invited somewhere someone's very very important coming over to your work i don't know and then let's look at the outfits and the reasoning behind creating a capsule wardrobe is so that you will work with everything that's in there and so that's everything that's in the capsule works with everything in there <laughs> and what i mean by that is you can pick each and every top in this capsule wardrobe and it would work with each and every bottom literally that's the goal so that it takes away all the thought process that goes into pairing your outfits and taking all the time in the world to pick your outfits beforehand this does it for you because every top and every bottom that you take out of this whole capsule will work beautifully together and all of the backs will work with this outfit and all of the shoes will work so you can always mix and match and this gives some personality to your looks and this also gives some freedom in expressing yourself and even though the capsule is not hugely big it can also be much smaller this is just an example of different silhouettes and tops and bottoms etc so this one could be cut two halves in in terms of size and it could still work for everyone for their office wardrobe but because everything works with everything that's the reason we have so many beautiful outfits and the outfits i'm showing you are not the limit this is just like a couple of examples of things that work with these pants and then other pants and then skirts etc and there's so many varieties within these looks so it's absolutely endless there's endless possibilities of what you can do with these things i feel like within these capsule wardrobe limitations this is the space that would possibly unlock your creativity because you have a limited amount of things and basically like a strict office dress code or whatever it is and then within that you have to work within those frames and this is something that always kind of i feel like inspires people because when you say i can wear anything it doesn't actually mean anything like it doesn't actually give you any guideline as to what to wear as opposed to this case when we see a limitation a set of rules and within these rules we can work and kind of thrive so these are the looks with these burgundy pants so first of all we're doing like a layered t-shirt milky white off-white t-shirt with a green shirt and then simple black flats and then the bag and like a key component to create a beautiful balanced outfit especially an office kind of an outfit is that within this outfit you have different styles that are balanced and you know i love me some style balance because this is what creates some angst and beauty and three-dimensional aesthetic to a look because if everything's classy or if everything's romantic or if everything's dramatic or if everything's sporty it just looks very flat as opposed to a look where for example in this case we have something that's casual like a t-shirt and then something that's pretty formal and classy like a shirt and then pants something that's feminine like a ballet flat even though it's like a basic or -er ballet flat then something that's classy like a back and this is what gives this outfit a beauty and obviously different colors and i love this color mix i love deep green and deep burgundy and then throw this off white into the outfit to kind of balance it out this is one outfit formula then we have another outfit option with a light blue blouse and then a brighter back you can always switch it for a deeper colored back or a different kind of a back and then a more sophisticated feminine shoe to balance it everything out and then we have a set this top and 
pants are a set they work beautifully together then because these two are very structured we need something that's very relaxed and like flowy this is the reasoning behind picking this specific hobo bag and then a more formal shoe but with a different texture that's very reflective that is going to bring some reflection and some different texture to a look because everything's very matte so we need something that's not matte to kind of deepen the look then other options for these pants and this is not everything this is just like a hint of something that could be done with these pants this is not all the outfit options with these pants and all the other things so like an all black look but with these burgundy pants would work amazingly a statement pant even though the pant is still very sophisticated and understated then we have a more kind of classy casual look that's more elevated with a shoe in this case a mule and then we have a tonal look of deeper mustardy brown and then the swine color for pants and then a reflective surface for your loafers and then a matte bag so we have a very tonal look with something that's reflective and it's always all about different colors different textures and different styles you have these three options in an outfit if you check all of them this is the way to go. This is the perfect formula to create an outfit. Then for black pants, and these are on the slimmer side. So the first option, I absolutely love all black outfits. Not every day, but for some occasions, I feel like they look very beautiful. And because everything's very like formal, so the pants, the bag, the shoes are more feminine, blah, blah. The top is more casual. So we have a t-shirt, but we're balancing out the casualness of that t-shirt with a cardigan. And then other options, options for pants are basically all the outfits that were created with those burgundy pants but with these pants so just switch pants and you have a totally different outfit and this is what I'm talking about this is basically the essence of a capsule wardrobe this is the way it has to work and one more thing I need to mention is that all of these things are from like middle market to luxury market, but I specifically selected items that could be totally, totally and provenly found in mass market, in secondhand, in resale stores, everywhere because they're kind of on the basic side and obviously the bags are harder to find but there's so many beautiful bag options in a vintage market in a mass market in a like middle section for the budget friendly option for example like cost arcade etc so you don't necessarily have to splurge on all of these things these basically all of these things just had better pictures all of these because this is a luxury market all of these retailers had better quality pictures of all of these items so that is the reasoning behind finding these specific things and showing them to you but you can always switch it up for your personal budget that's comfier for you then we have skirt options and the first one is a lighter gray and then we print this lighter gray skirt with a waistcoat as a top if you're okay with opening your shoulders up if not always you can layer it with a shirt of any kind from this capsule and then we have a hobo back but a bag that gives us more texture because of the suede and then a more sophisticated feminine shoe and this gives us a balance of styles and textures and colors then we have something like a formal skirt and a formal shirt but then a feminine casual shoe and a pretty casual slash classy bag that would balance each other out and then we have this same skirt with a shirt with a beautiful textured bag that brings some color to a look but with a more casual approach to a loafer but also this loafer is suede so this also brings us some texture to a look and also some color obviously and I love pairing green with beige this is such a beautiful timeless outfit and color combination and then for a white linen slash cottony this could actually be any type of a material skirt we have the same kind of outfit formula but just switched a bit up we have an all white outfit with a suede brown bag to bring some texture and color to a look we have a pop of bright red 
to an otherwise pretty basic outfit with a gray blouse. And then we have a casual t-shirt and then we have classy skirts, classy back and feminine shoes. And this is the way we could balance them out. If you cannot wear a t-shirt on its own, you can always, always wear an unbuttoned oversized cotton poplin shirt over it. This looks absolutely beautiful and this is one way to bring some layers to your summer outfits. Then we have a silky satiny skirt. This one's a midi or a maxi. I usually prefer a midi for an office outfit because maxi looks too dramatic for most occasions for an office dress code and this one is paired with a casual top in this case a tank top and then a cardigan just in case it gets chilly especially in an office environment there's a lot of air conditioning going on especially if you live in america the air conditioning in there and the temperatures and the difference in temperatures outside and inside is absolutely bonkers like literally you could be sweating outside and you get into your business space and it's you're shivering in there and that's very unhealthy to me so this is one way to make yourself feel more comfy and then a texture in the back and then a suede shoe and we have a couple of options with this skirt as well something that's more feminine and something that's more casual then we have these beautiful i feel like 70s inspired flared pants that look beautifully with this waistcoat obviously if you cannot wear a waistcoat on its own paired with a shirt a blouse a t-shirt a long sleeve whatever then a bit of a color combo over here and i love me some blue and brown color combo then we're bringing some kitten heels into this outfit because everything's very like masculine ish so this is something that's that needs to be in there something more feminine and then the next outfit is very 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 70s slash 60s inspired in terms of a color combo and then we have a reflective surface for loafers and then an unstructured bag to bring some softness to a look and then the last outfit is very classy beautiful foolproof works with everything and for everyone then we have our Bermudas and these Bermudas could be worked differently and all of these looks are sophisticated, office appropriate, they look elevated yet they're very comfy and there's balance of styles, there's balance of colors and there's balance of shapes in this outfit. There's something feminine, there's something that's masculine, there's something that's reflective, something that's matte, there's, there's different colors and different textures so everything works. Then we have a brown skirt and this basically would work with absolutely everything this is just an example of what it could work with like some tonal looks some casual looks something with a pop of color or without it then we have a 50s inspired full-on a-line skirt and in order to make it less feminine i'm adding some like masculine options and layering to these skirts in terms of layering a tank top and then a shirt and then we have loafers that's basically masculine inspired and then in the middle outfit we have an all black with a pop of white that is going to balance out the look and the casualness of the t-shirt would work beautifully to balance out the femininity and the formality of the skirt and then the last outfit is very formal but then we have ballet flats that are kind of unexpected as opposed to like a loafer or a heel because otherwise it's very feminine but a no heel option especially in the soft leather material in a ballet flat would balance this look out and then we have white palazzo pants outfit formula is the same but just different outfit options and you can see how everything mixes and matches together and this is the magic of having a capsule wardrobe and then we have some dresses and these are the dresses that i selected and this is how you could style them with a belt over it if this is a maxi or a midi dress especially a shirt dress and then a cardigan if it gets chilly and then some blade flats to kind of soften up the look and then give some color and texture with a bag but also you can unbutton it in the bottom and then you can add some bermuda shorts and you can obviously wear it on its own no belt no nothing a tonal brown look with a white point to it then we have a shorter sleeve cotton poplin dress and these are a couple of ways you can style it and i know this could be overwhelming but once you kind of have a look at this whole 
scenario and these outfits, you can see how everything works with everything. That's so it's not only not overwhelming, it's very, very easy. You literally could pick and choose things with your eyes closed and everything would work with everything and then for the more formal black long sleeved dress these are just three options you can how you can style them and there's so many more because there's more bags there's more shoe options etc so this is basically the whole summer slash transitional work office dress code capsule i hope this helps in terms of realizing the potential of your wardrobe the potential of having a limitation to your outfit choices and the potential of color texture and structure and shape of a look even though the items in this look could still be basic and yeah hope you're not sleeping at this point and if you're not Kudos to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!